what is up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're gonna be playing some more fizz nami if you go back to the last video you'll see i was playing some shadow isles nami fizz and i found the list to actually be really powerful i had a very rough day one version in that video so i told you guys i would go back refine it and kind of share that guys with share that with you guys once i did um the list is definitely cleaned up i was able to climb as high as rank two on the na ladder with this i used it to get to masters very early in the season so the list is looking very powerful and i'm excited to share with you guys the list as i have it right now all right so in the list we are running three copies of coral creatures coral creatures is a card that i just found to actually put in a lot of work it's a great chump blocker you can just get a lot of value in a lot of matchups especially with all the demacia poppy things running around you just get value as a block as well as the attune mana helping to level up nami and generating spells that are very powerful the combination of shadow isles and bilge has a lot of good hits shroud of darkness could be a good one mark of the isles eb warned parlay there's a ton of different good options so generating as many one mana spells as you do with this deck is actually really powerful as well as like absorb soul is one that people meme on like you never really want to run that in a deck but just being able to generate it's really strong mariah wardens also just the same thing good blocker you can generate multiple with them with fading memories if you really need to in certain situations songstress just a good card to push a lot of damage three two very strong elusive stat line zap nothing but value and the highlight of the deck wiggly verbal fish you're able to pull so many of them through stalking shadows fading memories you can just generate them across the board and with two copies of mind meld it leads to be a very strong closer you could literally go from having an empty board using fading memories and verbal fish develop three to four elusive units and mind meld to close the game with just seven mana so it's super strong a lot of the times with this deck i feel like you want to play kind of passively and just setting up for the big late game turns with nami on the field it's basically the same type of deal where you could go with just one nami on the field set up this purple fish combo and as you're playing fading memories and generating one mana spells each of those just feeds into buffing the units and you can go for some huge otk attacks um you generally want to play this deck as more of like a combo style deck don't go too aggro just set up for the late game kind of sustain and you will be in for some big finishes for sure i highly recommend this deck and with that being said we're going to go ahead and jump into the games all right, Draven Scion, don't really mind this matchup too much. Just kind of got to look for some good chump walkers. Stuff like uh, Nami is normally a keep just because she's broken. Bile Feast is good, but like Coral Creatures would be good in this matchup. We found it. Mind Meld's pretty good closer too. The fact that we already have Nami means we're not like super desperate for it. You know what I mean? We probably just pass as long as we can. Like even on two, I'm going to take a open pass. And if he doesn't develop, like, building up towards Nami level up is extremely strong if you guys haven't figured out already. Yeah, if, if this is all he does, right? Like, if he ever goes for an open attack, we just have a great Vile Feast. So overall, I think that's good. Kind of interesting. He discards that. I might just block it with the Songstress. We'll see. Probably not, to be honest. I might just go, like coral creatures probably and just see what we could pull off of that mark's super nice here get the trade we'll bank one spell mana so this will be five out of seven be almost there for the level up we can play coral creatures to get a spell that could potentially enable this we kind of have to see what we pull and if it's actually playable and go zap here actually just play it safe plus drawing obviously really good we have guaranteed level up with this we could stalking shadows next turn into nami and she'll be leveled our goal almost will be to kind of uh remove our non-elusive units so that way all of the buffs coming from nami goes to uh elusive units might just be slightly difficult to make that happen if he just opens for six, we just take the damage, I think. <laughs> More than six, I see. I go wide with Warden. 
Hit the codger. We're sick. Honestly, here, I think I'm going to use the Stalking Shadow. Definitely taking Burble all the time. We'll go Coral Creatures in the tune. When we play Nami next round, we'll get one more spell mana. And we'll just be at max spell mana. And able to do a lot of tricky stuff for sure. Block. I mean, I guess these don't make too much of a difference. When we play Nami, she's also going to be out of uh, Get Excited range, which is going to be huge. That's why you kind of wait to play her after she's leveled. None of these units are super great EB worn targets just because they all like kill this. Let's see, I I'd rather do the urchin, I think. I just want to get the discount on the herbal fish. I'll probably play this burble here because that way I can like. Mark of the Isles this. That one caught a buff. That's kind of unfortunate, to be honest. Play the Go Hard. Get this one for zero. And I'll have one more spell mana to play one more spell. Which obviously can do a lot for us. Pushing 10 elusive damage, 12... Another mark? It's just a bit off. Same. I mean, I always play this mark here for sure. This buff will just go to the 2 1. Yeah, 2 damage off. But we get a draw, have a strong board of blockers. And we have another warden in hand, which just means like it'll be that much harder for him to kill us. And we're like one for one with him. Even if he has Scion here, it should be good. Obviously gets trickier. Double Gordon. So we just need to push two damage. I don't even think we need the mind meld like whatsoever. So we'll probably kick this, play a Songstress, maybe leave ourselves an option for an open attack. It's kind of interesting. here since it has overwhelm well i guess i might want to block there well i'll block there with nami i think it's like block here block here units alive are this or three can actually switch these now Go to 12, yeah, it's completely fine. I mean, sure, that, you know, pushes us to 10, but I don't think that matters, like, whatsoever. Zion's not rallying, like, you'd have to, you'd have to do some crazy stuff to get here. We're not even in triple get excited range, and he wouldn't even have the mana for that, so, like... Whatever, dude. Live your life, bro. I have a feeling when I play this, he might just hit the surrender button. We'll see, though. You always develop herbal fish here. I 
make it more difficult for him to clear the units. G. It's kind of how you do the matchup. You just kind of play the long game, wait it out. And eventually, if you can have Nami or Mind Meld, you just flood the board with elusives, get a big swing in one attack, you just destroy him. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Alright, keeping Nami. Nami's, you know, definitely busted. Stalking Shadows on three will be good. Probably looking to pass most of these beginning turns anyways. Double Fading Memories actually... Very good if we can get Burble Fish on mine. Just depends on that. Go with the Songstress here. Opt for a pass at this point because he's literally just at six, but that passage is always proper. I need these spell thieves. So annoying. I kind of hate this Argon package. You whiff. Edge. Put a little bit of pressure on. I don't know if he's a Sparklefly version or a Challenger version, so. There's our answer. Try about it. Get some more spells played. We're playing for the late game again, so like, that's fine. It'll push one damage with Sparkle Fly, I guess. We can just drag this keg with the Nami. This does level Nami well. I might even play like an ephemeral coral creatures here. We'll see. There's a lot of good stuff I can pick up off of him. I mean, the biggest one is the Yeebie Warned, would be huge right now. Up to zero though. Man, if this coral creatures could pull through one time, I swear. Sorb soul. what I can, I guess. Bit interesting, he's down to just trade down. It's just my glimpse at this point. Actually, not find my elusive units. There's one. Probably go with the tangible unit at this point and save the songstress for like an attacking turn. Yeah, Loki, that being on the board might not be bad for us. Thank you. 
naturally at 4 damage, so definitely threatening Sparklefly. I almost feel like if I play this, I could bait him to do something with that. Emerald Sparklefly, I care less. Get a Coral Creatures down. He might have messed himself up with this, just because the Ephemeral one will take a buff. So I have to try to go for this parlay. Especially since we have Vile too. Like, this could be even more difficult. Like, if he plays Pale Cascade, he could just be dead. If he does save it, I'm going to Fading that first to steal it, and then Vile Feast. Can't beat Sunblast, unfortunately. Just a little bit of damage, not that it matters. This is a zero mana burble, so I think we are gonna go ahead. Take that. I could play the Songstress. And this could be a good Mind Meld attack for sure. Feeling a parlay, maybe? Let's see? I played so many spells at this point, I have no idea. Oh, is this just a shakedown angle, actually? I think it's actually just a shakedown turn. No one can stop me. Not even you. I forgive you. Now and forever. Well, does he know I could care less? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take the Zoe and the Sparkle. Right. Or I could get Nami off the board, maybe. But I think just getting rid of the elusives at this point is like name of the game. It's good. Double mark in hand will give him a hard time for sure. So at this point, if I pick a card, it already threatens, right? Actually, actually uh, just let me have them. It's good. Life still units off the board is, you know, money. For sure. Okay. Obviously not killing that one. Oh, goes for the Calibrum. The crazy. Wild for that one, bro. I'm gonna vile here so I can just have the the open attack with the zap. Not the open attack, but I mean the attune. Get the attune from it. I guess this could have been just the Nami ebb and flow. Although, same difference. Using this in the ebb seems good. It'll buff. It hits it too, makes it even that much harder for it to live. I'd even get a surrender out of him without needing to use the mind meld. Crazy enough. One, press with Vile.
Adam boys. That matchup's always a grind, but oof, pretty satisfying when we get there for sure. All right, I think Warden's definitely good in this matchup. Songstress isn't bad either. I think these are probably a little pricey in this matchup where they're gonna put a lot of pressure on. We got <laughs> two very slow, slow cards in return, so hopefully we draw well. We kind of did, Vile Feast hits for sure. Kind of just realized this is a fellow elusive deck. We won't want to use Vile on something like the Blade Scout, right? Because it like lost the elusive ability. We got our own Blade Scout. So cute. Funny. We could clank these into each other. We we kind of do want to just attack like this, right? Because it's a Lulu Poppy deck, and them losing the units to buff is bad for them. So one, they probably don't block there, and if they do, we just make it that much harder on them. So like he plays Lulu here, exactly. So now we vile feast it, because like the value's there for sure, and we also get to play Songstress, so we can push like a good open attack. Kind of interesting. I'm down to lower the Lulu's health overall. This gives us an opportunity to maybe take it off the board later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the hesitation was kind of bad. He uses Sharp Sight, so... I don't know. He's playing very risky with the Lulu. This will go to one... That's fine. We don't take a glimpse there because the damage on the Lulu actually could matter. I'll just drop another ward in here. Be a little bit mana efficient. Songstress, pretty good hit. We're going to play Coral Creature, so we'll have a spell to maybe like take advantage of. Sapling toss could be that it's a little awkward. I might have wanted to set this up like Into our attacking turn We just block like this see what his response is So yeah, you figure he has a way to save Lulu here this goes to five It drops back down to three anyways, this is actual damage no it goes to four so we'll just we'll glimpse this. Glimpse off the poppy. Fadings and Burble. We have like the ultimate combo in hand. So if we can get these guys to zero on the turn after this attack, like, you know, that's massive for us. Triple fading. We send that off to block for us on the like last turn that's gonna matter, I feel. Hmm. I could like copy that and draw, but I don't think it makes too much sense. We'll just attack with both of these and see how he reacts. Badge. A guides, interesting. Once again, though, something that like shouldn't matter. I might even play both baitings right now, so they're just sitting my hand at zero. Box across. Rally's a little, little funny. Keep it real. I might copy a uh, protector. Keep, keep these guys healthy. I can. This mana doesn't matter. Play 
play these guys out at zero. I think he would have rallied there if he had it right. So we just take advantage of the moment. Go all the way. I'd be shocked if this didn't take him out. If he ever does an action and like forces us to play this, he will. <laughs> sure. Put a mana on that. Could play this and the coral creatures, right? It gives us the opportunity to drag an elusive blocker. We're at 9 mana, so we're still good. Target Lulu. Mind Meld. We have Mark. Shakedown even. Never really makes sense here, but... It's the option. We'll keep Mark mana, though. Should be GG. I think at 5 mana, he's kind of fried. <laughs> It's a wrap, boys. Gotta let it let it sink in. Sink into his brain. Alright. <laughs> Nothing like a good old 30 damage overkill. Yeah, Mind Meld is just huge in so many matchups. Just a way to close the game. Especially when you have Burbles at zero. Combo's so nice.